some news you can use. Today we're going to talk about, <clears throat> and you can go ahead and put up the uh, the graphic. Actually, we're going to talk about uh, one of the longest deadbeats in the history of housing. This guy or gal, I'm not sure what, uh, by the name of Gurjamit Hanspal in the state of New York, um, has stopped stopped paying their mortgage 23 years ago. And it took until a couple of weeks ago, uh, actually last week, before they were finally evicted. These guys became the master of gaming the mortgage non-payment system. Uh, New York has rules similar to what we used to have in California. Uh, and these guys took advantage of them. They filed over the last 23 years. And by the way, this it looks like this is a, a lady. Uh, she bought this house. Currently, she's 52 years old. So she bought this house when she was, I guess, 39, uh, 29. She bought it when she was 29. She's 52 now. She made one payment and then stopped making payments. And over the last 23 years, she has claimed uh, everything under the sun. She, she claimed that she had cancer. She had COVID six times. Um, probably the only person in the country who got COVID six times in a row. Uh, but uh, none, none of this was proved, of course. She filed seven lawsuits and four bankruptcies over that period of time. Finally, uh, they were able to get her out. Obviously, by now, the, the loan would be almost paid off. Uh, but, you know, th this is not a good way to live. However, we saw stuff like this. Uh, about 10, 12 years ago during the Great Recession, when we had a lot of these properties uh, fall into foreclosure and people would not get out. So just as a word of caution, if you guys are ever buying a house from uh, an owner occupant, I would be very cautious about never putting money into that deal until they were out or not allowing the escrow company, if you're going through an escrow or your attorney, uh, to hand them a check until they're gone. Now, can you put something, you know, to allow a short period of time for a seller stay over? Yeah. And is it most of the time it's followed? Yes. But we played a, a thing this spring about uh, folks in Southern California down in Riverside where they paid $560,000 for a house. And then the owner, the old owner, the seller would not get out uh, at all. Uh, they have been paid in cash for their entire house. There was no issues. They just wouldn't leave. And, you know, they used all kinds of cover, uh, primarily the COVID crisis. But in this particular case, this lady in the state of New York, like I said, filed seven lawsuits uh, claiming various things and then uh, four bankruptcies. Bankruptcies and lawsuits will automatically stay a foreclosure or foreclosure uh, and an eviction in the state of New York. Used to in California. Um, the, the bankruptcy still do, but the lawsuits don't necessarily do that anymore. So uh, once again, if you guys didn't attend earlier this spring, last spring, our, uh, our uh, equity buyout clinic, the foreclosure clinic, I would recommend that you get with Ashley and she can get you a, a copy if you're interested in that, uh, because we're seeing more and more foreclosures out there, more and more people falling behind in payments. And it's a whole different game. It's not like regular investing out there. You really got to know what to do. You don't want to end up as the buyer of a house like this where you're stuck for 23 years and you can't get into the house. So eventually, like I said, this uh, here a couple of weeks ago, this person was finally evicted. Um, and, you know, the house, of course, as you might imagine, was trashed. They didn't do any upkeep for 23 years and you know they left a, a whole bunch of crap behind so um just a word to the wise be be very cautious before you hand over a check to somebody all right that is our quick news you can use 